Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagati Vasudevaya. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Thank you so much for joining today. We want to receive the blessing of Radha Madhava, Radha Shyam, Sunda Krishna, Balaram, Bal Gopal, Gauri Taishila Prabhupada, Nasing Dev, Guru Maharaj, and our assembly devotees. So uh, we're continuing with the temples uh, in Ahobilam. Um, so today we wanted to look at, uh, beginning to look at the nine temples of Lord Nasing Dev. Um, so we met this bit. So the first temple is going to be uh, Bhargav Nasing Swami Temple. And this is here. This is lower um, of Ahobilam, which means it's not very high. And this is the higher part of the Ahobilam. So the Bhargav Nasing Swami is situated at a distance of two kilometers from Lower Ahobilam, on a hill near the sacred pond known as Bhargav Tirtham, where Bhargav Ram performed his penance. Hence, the lord of the temple is known as Bhargav Nasinga Swami. Nasinga Swami. So, Bhargav Vesha. Bhavana Bhavita Mane Akshaya Tire Tira Tirtastu Bhagavastu Mangalam Sri Bhagava Nasima Temple is a distance of two kilometers from lower Ahovilam on a hill near the sacred pond known as Bhagav Tirtam where Bhagav Ram performed his penance. Hence, the Lord of the temple is known as Bhagav Nasima Swami. Here, Parashu Ram, who is also known as Bhagav, performed austerities to plead Lord Nas please Nasimha there, Lord Nasimha there. Parashu Ram wanted to have darshan of the Lord. Right at the moment when he tore apart the chest of Hiranyakashipu. So this is um, mm -hmm. a time when um, um, Hiranyakashipu, thinking that he was indestructible, becomes destructible. <laughs> and Hoshuram wanted to see that. Now, who is Hoshuram? He We regard him as one of the Das Avatars. But actually, he is Shaktyaveshavata. He's, he's a specially empowered soul. Shaktyaveshavata. But he's naturally wanting to have darshan of the Lord. Pleased by the penances of Vashura, Lord Nasingdev gave him the desired darshan. When the Lord was giving darshan, Hiranyakashipu, who was lying on the lap of the Lord, looked towards Vashura. Mm. Bhashram then requested the singer to manifest himself in that form. Interesting. Do you know that? <laughs> mm. And from then on, the Lord is worshipped here and is known as Sri Bhagav Narsimha Swami. So it's a pretty ferocious form of the Lord. This is one of the most ferocious forms of Singdev in Hohobinam. Ferocious because uh, Nishin Dev tore apart, tore into the heart of Yanika Shivu at this time. This temple is located on the banks of Akshya Tirtha, which is considered on par with the sacred Pushkar Tirtha. Pashuram would bathe in this kund and use this water for the worship of Lord Bhargav Nasimha. Sage Vashishta and other sages had performed penances here. One can also have darshan of Palad at the lotus feet of the Lord. This temple is surrounded by thick forest and can be reached only via local jeep or the autos as the route is like a mountainous terrain. Mm -hmm. 
Lord Singh Dev here is four-handed. Upper two hands hold the chakra and shank. The lower two hands are shown uh, tearing the intestines. Oh yeah, it's, in it's the stomach he went into. Of oh, Hiranyakashipu, not the heart. Hiranyakashipu is holding a sword in his right hand. Palad is on the right in the stanaka posture with Anjali Hasta. What's, what's Anjali Hasta? Do you know? I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, this is on the way to uh, Shri Bhagav Nasim Temple from Lower Aho Bilam. And it's a little rocky. This is the sacred Bhagav Tirtam in front of the temple where Bhagav Brahm performed his penance. These are the steps leading to Shri Bhagav Nasimha Temple. Quite a long way up. Lord Nasimha Dev here is four handed. Upper two hands hold this chakra in shank. Lower two are shown tearing the intestines of Hiranyaka Shipu. And he's holding a sword. Pallad is on the right in the Stanaka posture. So this is a little bit more closer look at this form, I think. So that's the end of that uh, temple here, Bhargav. Next, we want to look at, I think it's Yogananda. Yeah, Yogananda Nasimha Swami. Chaturanana Chetobja Chitrabhanu Swarupene Pine Vedadri Gaha Varasthaya Yogananda Mangalam. Sri Yogananda Nasimha Temple is to the southeast of the lower Ahovalam at a distance of two kilometers. The popular legend is that after killing Hirani Kashipu, Lord Nasimha Dev taught Palad several yogic postures. Mm. Do you know that? <laughs> Interesting. Therefore, the Lord in his aspect is called Yoga Nanda Nasimha in this aspect. Seated on a guru pedestal of one to one. 1.2 feet high. The deity of Nasingdev is about 2.8 feet or yeah, feet high in the yogic posture of their legs being crossed and tied with a yoga pata. The deity is four handed, holds chakra in the upper hand and shank in the upper left hand. The other two hands rest on his knees. Once Lord Brahma visited this place when he was agitated and he returned after attaining peace by practicing devotion onto Lord Singh Dev. The deity of the Lord was being worshipped in a deep tunnel. And for the sake of ease in his worship, he was brought out from the tunnel and installed here. This temple is connected by a good road. This temple is a plain stone structure with a square, Garbhagriha and Ardha Mandap. Interesting how it was you know, initially worshipped in a deep tunnel. So this is the temple. This is the deity, but uh, this is the picture. This is a yoga nanda. He's got a yogic posture. Next to Sri Yogananda uh, Nasimha Temple is Sri Bal Go Yogananda. Bal Yogananda Nasimha Temple. Yes, sir, Pawe. Um, Hare Krishna Prabhuji on all devotees. Uh, 
is it a, this <coughs> excuse me nasima bhagwan has it got different swarup yeah yeah according to his lila just like with krishna he is sometimes baby he sometimes is a young boy different uh, lilas he has different names and in this situation different <laughs> So when he taught those yogic postures to Falad, he's known as Yogananda. But and he's still Nasima. He's still the same Nasimha. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Well, that's so right because I was just thinking. I only thought um, it's only one Nasima which killed yeah. the Hanakar. So, that's so it. But now that's as we are going on. It, the names are coming different but it still yeah. got nasima there still the one yeah still the one yeah. singha thank you thank you hare krishna hare krishna so now we are going to go to chatra chatravat this is here chatravat so bhagav yogananda and chatravat nanusya to nakshina Ah, uh, so you said, uh, ha ha, hu, hu, vakya, gandava, mrita, gita, rita, atme, ne, bava, hantri, tat, chak, chat, trava, tai, taim, haya, mangalam. Shri Chatravat Nasingu Temple is three kilometers for Lower Ahobilu on the same road leading to Yogananda Nasimha Temple. Lord Nasimha Dev here is very unique as he got a very beautiful wide smile, very unusual. Since the Lord is worshipped under a people tree as uh, surrounded by thorny bushes, he's famous as Chatravatta Nasimha Swami. Once two Gandhavas named Haha and Huhu. Ha. So that's why this mantra starts with Haha and Huhu. Came from Meru Parvat and pleased Sri Chatravatta Nasimha with their melodious singing. The Lord blessed them that they would attain fame as great singers. Even now, devotees who visit this temple sing melodious, melod melodiously before the deity to give him pleasure. Lord Indra and the other demigods worship Lord, the Lord here and requested him to kill the demon king. This temple is known as Devata Aradhana Shetra. Oh, he has got a smile. <laughs> He's got a smile. Mm. Sri Chatravata Nasimha is seated in the Padmasena pose, pose on a, a low Padmapita. The two upper hands holds the chakra and the shank. The lower right hand is in the Abhaya posture. So this is the blessings. While the lower left hand is Katihasta, placed on the waist and left thigh. Very unusual. This is, it looks like the temple hall. So now we want to go to Shri Ahobila Nasima Temple. Now, where is that? So here it is. It's called Ahobilesar. Ahobilas. Ahobilesar. Chihobila Nasimha Temple, situated on the upper Ahobilam, at a distance of eight kilometers from the lower Ahobilam, is the main temple. And the earliest of all the nine temples in Ahobilam. The Lord here appears in his fierce aspect called Ugranasinga which is the presiding deity of the temple and is known as Ahobila Nasimha Swami. The Lord is seen tearing apart the chest of Hiranyakashipu 
in front of the Lord is Palad. Lord's eternal concert. Shimati Chen Chu Lakshmi is also giving darshan to the devotees. She is situated in Padmasan, Padmasan, Sana, Padmasan, Padmasan, Padmasan. The, the temple is situated in a naturally formed cave. So there you go. There's a cave here, naturally, natural cave. Temple is in there. This must be a Pandara that we must be doing. The Lord here appears in his fierce as we call Ugra Nasimha, which is a presiding deity of the temple. He's known as Ahobila Nasimha Swami. The Lord is seen tearing apart the chest of Yerenakashipu. So in front of the Lord is Pallad. Mm -hmm. Lord's eternal consort, Shimati Chenchu Lakshmi, is also giving the to the devotees. But this must be the deity of Oh no, it's that one. Yes, that one, yeah. Shri Chenchu Lakshmi. This almost looks like Baal Gopal. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Next temple is Shri Kroda Varaha Simha. And that is Varaha, is there. So, so far we've done Bhargava, Yogananda, Chatra, Vada, um, Aho, Bilam, Temple, Nasima Temple, and now we're looking at Varaha. So this is the fifth. Varaha Kunde, uh, so Varaha Kunde, Medinyai, Varaha Tha, Pardaya, Padaha, Pada Ine, Danta Lagna, Iranyaksh, Damstra, Simhaya, Mangalam, Ji Kroda, Raha Nasing Temple is one kilometer from the main temple of Oho Bila Nasimha Swami. On the upper Oho Bila. Shri Kroda Nasimha, also glorified by <clears throat> devotees as Varaha Nasimha, is a very special form of the Lord with the face of a boar. So he's got a face of the boar, which is unusual. After killing Irani Kashipu, Lord Nasimha was very upset with Lord Brahma. Because of the boons he had awarded to Irani Kashipu, he summoned Lord Brahma and because, but Lord Brahma was afraid to come near the Lord. At that time, the Vedas slipped from his hands and fell down. When the Vedas were falling, Bhumi personified, held them and took the Vedas with her to Patala in order to protect them. Due to the absence of the Vedas, demigods approached Lord Nasimhadev, who took the form of Kroda, an animal with a single front horn, and went to Patal to bring back the Vedas. So remember that Bhumi had taken the Vedas down to Patal Lok. He then emerged with uh, emerged out with Bhumi Devi sitting above his form. Now Bhumi Devi is also married to Varaha. After bringing out the Vedas. The Lord sat on his, at his shetra and took the form of Sri Kroda Nasimha. In the meantime, his anger also sub, uh, subsided. Brahma then came near the Lord, begging for forgiveness and requesting the Vedas. Lord Nasimha rejected Brahma's request and said, you are already, you have already lost the Vedas. <laughs> Hence, they have to be given only to a responsible person. To which Brahma suggested that they can be given to Lakshmi Devi. The Lord agreed and gave darshan to Brahma as Molola Nasinga. Mm -hmm. Along with Sri Krodha Nasimha, one can also have darshan of Sri Lakshmi Nasinga in this temple. Lord Nasinga Devi is seen as though he is trying to gently pacify Lakshmi Devi. Lord Nasinga Devi had developed attachment to Chenchu Lakshmi, which annoyed Lakshmi Devi. 
Hence, the Lord is pacifying her. Here, one can have the notion of Sri Varaha Tirtha. Walking alongside the Bhavanasini River and the Kalak Shepa Mandap, we arrive at the cave shrine of Kroda Varaha. Surrounded by natural, actually natural scenery all around, the lofty mountains overgrown with tall trees are always firing. In a narrow valley between Vidari and Garudadri, the silver stream of Bhavana Sini glides on beautifully. So this is an idea of the outside. And this is the idea of the chapter. This looks Varaha. Varaha, special deity called Varaha Nasimha. And this is the way to this cruel Nasimha temple. It's going to be quite interesting how that's going to work. <laughs> this is quite a rough road. And this is where Shri Ramanujacharya held his devotional courses when he visited Hobilam. This place is on the way to Sri Krodh and Singha temple from Ahobila and Singha. Okay, so I wanted to stop there. There's quite a few still left, um, but we we'll continue tomorrow. Any questions? You don't yes. have a picture of the the bow one, uh, Nashim Hadi with the bow face. No, you, you want to see? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One second, one second. There you go. Oh. Okay, it's a bit... Oh, now I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's there. The face is there. Yeah. Okay. What is on it? Is it a kanku? Or uh, this a... is what I... Yeah, yeah, kanku, kanku. What I had <laughs> Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. Okay, so we can stop there. Any questions for Aven? Oh, no, you're muted. You're muted. No, I'm enjoying. It's uh -huh. nice to know because I, I don't know when I will visit these places, but mm. like you are talking about it and you are going to go there. Mm. which is going to be really uh, good for you, all of you. And is it like two months or three months? Oh, no, seven weeks. Seven weeks. So nearly two months, right? Nearly two months, yeah. Mm. I wish you'd like safe journey, but even the nice weather also. Yeah, no, thank you. Still got a lot yeah. yet because uh, we go in August. So. Yeah, it's quite a long way. What was the weather there in India, August? I think it's warm and might have some monsoon as well. All right. Maybe. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it should be fine. Uh, yes, yes. When you when everybody is together, we are not too much afraid. No. You know? That's correct. Yeah. yeah much traveling easier. together in a group is very good. Yeah, much easier. Very and true. we have more experience. Yeah. Mm. Very true. Very true. Very true. Thank you. Yeah, I'm enjoying anyway. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. She, a whole belong to Jenna Singh, the Bhagwan Ki Jay. So let's. Is it 